ஹானரபுள் டிப்டி சேர்மன் சார் வித் கிரேஸ் அண்ட் பிளஸ்ஸிங் ஆஃப் ஹானரபுள் அம்மா த லேட் சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு ஐ ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹியர் இன் த அப்பர் ஹவுஸ் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட் டு மேக் மை மெய்டன் ஸ்பீச் ஐ ஹார்ட்ஃபுல்லி தேங்க் ஹானரபுள் அம்மா ஃபார் திஸ் கிரேட் தட் மீன்ஸ் யூ கேன் கோ அப் டு டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் just are in making me a member of this house august house from 2016 and making me stand here before all of you to make this first ever speech in this house on this occasion i would like to pay my rich tribute to honorable amma even though she is not in our midst today she is built in everybody's heart more so she had been a member of this house the able the leadership of amma is seen as an appreciation of the many welfare measure that the honorable amma has unleashed for the people of tamil nadu and her success is being lauded not only by the people on this country but also by the entire tamil nadu population worldwide they also recognize that honorable amma has struck a hard trick having won the 2011 assembly election the 2014 parliamentary election and the 2016 assembly election as far as i am concerned we were making me mp in this august house she made me mp mlj 3 times from 2001 to 2016 during the 15 years she made me a minister in the tamil nadu cabinet twice i pay my respect to her okay. for this coming to the budget to begin with i once again pay my obeisance to honorable amma for having given me this opportunity to stand here and participate in the discussion on the budget presented by the honorable finance minister there are many pending issue with the center pertaining to tamil nadu recording funds they have been presented in the form of a memorandum to the honorable prime minister by the chief minister of tamil nadu on 27th february 2017 following the failure of the monsoon tamil nadu is presently reeling under severe drought a yes, central team also visited tamil nadu to make an on the spot assistant of the assessment of the trout situation from 21st to 24th january 2017 in this connection i request to the honorable finance minister to kindly accord a sanction for the immediate release of payment of rupees 2500 crores from national disaster response fund to the government of tamil nadu mitigate trout situation the house many also recall that tamil nadu experienced heavy floods in 2015 and also severe cyclone varada in december 2016 this also have created tremendous dam- damages on the lives and properties in tamil nadu the state government had assessed the requirement of funds with record to cyclone varada alone as rupees 22573 crores i request the honorable finance minister to kindly allocate sufficient funds immediately coming to gst as a manufacturing state tamil nadu manufacturing state tamil nadu is going to incur huge financial loss as part top the road map for implementation of gst the central sales tax rate was reduced from 4% to 3% from 1st april 2007 and further brought down to 2% from 1st june 2008 the center assured that the status states would be adequately compensated so the tamil nadu government made a claim of the rupees 13227.46 crore but there is still a balance 
of rupees 5571.87 crore to be reimbursed by the center i request the honorable finance minister to look into this and to release the balance amount immediately late chief minister of tamil nadu had consciously urged the government of india to implement the interlinking of the maganadi kodavari krishna pennar palar kaveri vaigai rivers and further with the kunda river and divert the surplus water of the west following pamba and achankovil rivers to vaipar in tamil nadu though the special committee constituted for this purpose has held 11 meetings so far nothing concrete concrete seem to have been done moreover honorable amma had urged the government of india to nationalize all the interstate rivers i request the government to ponder over this point and allocate sufficient funds for the inter and intra link of rivers so that the country is rid of the water problems for all times to come inka particular bhi bataoge na do the and 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 daring efforts of our leader the chief minister of tamil nadu the final order final order of the kaveri water disputes tribunal was notified by the government of india in 2013 she had been urging the center for the early formation of the kaveri management board and kaveri water regulation committee for effective implementation of the final order of the tribunal though the center had promised to constitute them in a sudden turn of events now it said that it has to come before parliament i would like to point out of that so far in no case it has been done like this so it is neither appropriate nor fair to take the different stand now the farmers of the delta areas of tamil nadu i am also one of the member of planning to this region are dependent on the kaveri waters for irrigation and are agitated over long delay in farming them i request the finance minister to constitute them early to that the order of the tribunal can be effectively implemented and tamil nadu gets its due share of water coming to the fishermen issue as late as on 6th march an innocent fisherman from rameswaram was shot at by the sri lankan navy when he along with a group of fishermen were fishing in indian traditional water between tarishkodi and kachatibu the attack and harassment of fishermen by the sri lankan navy is continuing unabated the fishing kids and other equipments are bringing taken away awaiting their lively good unconditionally kachativ had been seated to sri lanka the two agreements of 1972 and 1974 are not ratified by the parliament and so they became invalid and unconstitutional so the government of india should take steps to approcates and agreements and retrieve kachatibu so the so that traditional fishing rights to indian fishermen from tamil nadu can be restored diverse diversification of the fisheries sector and comprehensive special package for this purpose are very dear dear and our honorable leader let cm of D tamil nadu without deliberating further on this i request to the honorable finance minister to sanction adequate funds for this purpose and release them early so that fisherman fisheries sector of tamil nadu can be developed as imagined by let cm chief minister of tamil nadu a record national eligibility cam entrance test neat our leader and let see mr honorable amma had embassy's introduction of neat 
is a direct infringement on the rights of the state and would cause grave injustice to the students of Tamil Nadu who are already covered by a fair and transparent and admission policy which is working very well. In this regard, Tamil Nadu also passed Tamil Nadu Admission in Professional Educational Institution Act 2006, which has been upheld by the Madras High Court and approved by the Supreme Court. That being so, forcing the students of Tamil Nadu to take up need to an advisory about the society and economically backward students in this regard. The Tamil Nadu Assembly unanimously passed two pills for protecting the existing admission policy for admission in medical and dental colleges. They have been approved by the government of Tamil Nadu and were sent to the central government for obtaining the assent to the Honorable President of India. Hence, I request the Center of kindly urge the Honorable President of India to accord sanction for the, these two bills, which would go a long way in protecting interests of the rural students of Tamil Nadu in the union budget for 2015-16. The government proposed to the establish on aims like institution, of Tam, institution in Tamil Nadu. Accordingly, five sites were proposed by the state government, including one in my place, that is Sengipati in Tanjau district. It is learned that likely Sengipati in Tanjau district has been identified as the best suited location for setting up this aims by the central team. The Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu met Honorable Prime Minister on 27th February 2007, also instituted established aims in Sengipati of Tanjau district. I request the government to take immediate necessary action. There is another long pending demand of the people of Tamil Nadu that is make the ancient language of Tamil Nadu as the official language of the government of India. Moreover, we strongly urge the center to declare of all the languages included in the eighth schedule of the constitute of the official language of the government of India. Secondly, there has been a long-standing demand of the people of Tamil Nadu to use the Tamil Nadu language, Tamil language, language in the Madras High Court. I once again request the Centre to kindly reconsider the proposal for the use of Tamil Nadu Tamil in the High Court of Madras. With these words, I request the Honourable Finance Minister once again to allocate a sufficient fund to us as was demanded. Immediately, immediately to tight over the finance of the state. Thank you, sir. Thank you.